Okay, so um, welcome to Project Reality. Um, as you can see, uh, the Project Reality mod is quite an extensive mod. Um, I'd like to show you some few features at the start, just to sort of get you uh, to know how the mod works. Um, first off, as you uh, go up to the top left corner, you can see the version and the PR version. This is quite useful for um, understanding whether your game is up to date or not, and as to whether you can see the uh, servers. Another thing is to look at how you um, go to your um, player control menu. So what you do is you go to the top right corner and you click. As you can see, um, that is an example of how you do that. So as you can see, you can sort of um, get used to the uh, PR controls already and uh, how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how um, to set up your controls because a lot of people find this difficult. Um, although the Project Reality controls themselves are set up already, I find them a bit cumbersome. So I'd like to show you a few ways of getting around this and um, also the actual Armour 2 controls which you can reset up. So the first thing I want you to do is to go onto Option and then go onto Control. So as you can see we have a variety of controls already set up. We have all controls, infantry controls, vehicle controls, aircraft controls, custom controls, communication and project reality controls. Um, what you should do first is click onto Project Reality Control. So, in Project Reality Controls we have Player Menu, Interaction Menu, Display Player Name and Activate Vehicle Mirror. The only two we're going to mess with are Display Player Name and Activate Vehicle Mirror. So what we need to do is click on Display Player Name. So, what I want you to see is um, the fact that it says Left Windows. Although this is useful and quite close to the controls, it doesn't keep it going all the time. So what we like to do is we like to assign this to the W key so that when you're running around you constantly look, get the player uh, name uh, pop up. Okay, so that will have turned red. That's good. I want you to leave that like that. Don't worry about it being red. Um, that's fine. Okay, so next thing we want to do is activate vehicle mirror. Okay, so we've assigned that to the uh, K key. Uh, the reason why is because although um, activate vehicle mirror is useful, you won't use this all the time. So we're going to assign another key to the uh, activate vehicle mirror, and we're going to assign another key to the V key. Okay, so what I want you to now do is go into the uh, all controls. Okay, so now that you're in all controls, I want you to type in uh, step over. Okay, and that's on the top right uh, search bar. Okay, so on step over, what we want to do is we want to assign this to the K key because although the V key is useful, it really does become a pain. And also, you're going to be assigning the V key to another uh, key which is more important in Project Reality. Okay, so we've assigned that to the K key. This allows you to still use step over, which is good in situations, but it puts it far across the control keyboard so that you won't um, accidentally press it as you're playing the game. Okay, so what I want you to do now is type in compass uh, up at the top right again. Okay, so on compass, I want you to do from the K key to the V key. Okay, so what that does is it allows you to activate the compass quite easily and successfully while you're in a, in a battle. And it's really close so that you don't have to stretch your fingers across the keyboard to try and get to the compass. Compass is really useful for calling out target locations and information based on that. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go from compass to zoom in. Okay, so just uh, type that up in the top right corner. Okay, so on zoom in, as you can see, currently it's on plus. What we want to do is uh, assign that to hold second mouse button. So click on the uh, zoom in, and then as you can see, we've got plus now. So what we want to do is we want to just hold down the right, ma uh, right mouse button for a second, and delete new, uh, plus numbers. Okay, so holding down the second mouse button will now, when you're in your weapon, zoom into the target. So what we want to do now is go to hold breath. In hold breath, we want to just delete hold second mouse button. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to go to team switch and command mode, okay?
Okay, so as you can see, I just deleted both actions on Team Switch and Commanding Mode. Okay, so what we want to do is to go to the Communication Channel. And on Communication Channel, we want to go to Command Channel. And then on Command Channel, we want to assign Right Shift, which is, should be unassigned on your keys. Okay, so thank you for very much for uh, watching this video. This is a quick uh, tutorial on how to get yourself uh, set up with the controls. And um, I hope that you have a great game in Project Reality. The community is a great community, and the devs are all great to get on with. So thank you very much. This is IGG Dale out.